Hello, this tutorial is about how to change from the old NSSF rate to the new NSSF rate. So you change it in, in rates. Um, you can see NSSF is here and I'm in 2023 February. Now before I change it, I want to show you. So to see that you have the old rates, you come and you can check like in this case, you can see here he has 200. So to change, you go to rates, uh, locate NSSF, click on open table, select 2013 here, and say set this table for February 2023. Make sure you get this confirmation. When you come back here, you'll see we are again in NSSF, and now it says 2013. So originally it said 1987, now it says 2013. But you're not done. You need to go back to your pay slips. You can see it still has 200. You have to process for the new rate to be to be used. So let's click process. After the processing is complete, you come and you now have tier one and tier two. And that's how you know that you've done it correctly. So uh, first check with payslips, then go to your rates uh, and make sure you've gotten your 2013. Now going forward, you can see here there's nothing in March. So when you go to your March and you say copy previous month, it will copy if you go back to rates. If we go to March now, uh, I think it does it at processing. Let's say process. we go back to rates March yes so it will copy 2013 so if you go back to Jan you'll see January has 1987 and if we go forward February NSSF 2013 and NSSF 2013 so every time you copy like when you go to April it will copy the previous month and that's it. That's how to make the change.